Good afternoon, so um, welcome to uh, Quiz by Compound Interest. Uh, in this group, we're going to be going over two examples. Uh, before we get started, let's take a look at uh, some key formulas that we're going to be using um, for these two examples, all right? So let's take a look at some formulas. So first of all, um, we're going to be looking at the main, the general formula that um, applies to all problems, which is y equals a times one plus r over n raised to the nt power. Okay. So what do all these variables mean? This is what they mean. Um, a is the initial amount. Um, r is the interest rate um, in decimal form. You gotta keep that in mind. Uh, interest rate in decimal form and is a uh, number of times compounded and t at the time and uh, y is the final amount. Okay. Now there is uh, another formula that you might have come across before or that you might have been exposed to for calculating compound interest. And that formula is um, y equals a times 1 plus r to the t. Now, this is just a special case of this formula, exactly the same thing. This is a case where um, you, it, um, the interest is compounded exactly once per pay period. Okay, so what does that mean? That means that this component right here, the n, equals 1. So when n equals 1 in this formula, you're simply going to end up with this formula. Okay, so this is a, this formula is a special case of the general formula. This happens when n equals 1. So for example, if you have um, if the interest is being compounded annually, you have this formula right here because you have over 1 here and you have a times 1 there, which changes, changes nothing. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, we're going to be making use of the, the more general formula. This one, so we don't get confused. Okay, this is the form I'm going to be making use of for for these problems. All right. Uh, so let's take a look at the first example. Question number one. So for question one, we have um, an investment that's been done by Jackie. Okay, so Jackie invests uh, two hundred thousand. Um, in a high income high income fund um, that has an annual interest interest of uh, of twelve percent. Okay. Um, if the interest is being compounded compounded quarterly. Let's see, the interest is being compounded quarterly. Um, how much will Jackie have? Um, How much we have, will she have in four years? Okay. And then let's also uh, find um, how much interest she earns. So we're going to be looking for uh, two things. We're going to be looking for how much she's going to have a balance after two after four years, starting from two hundred thousand, and how much interest uh, she earned over that period. Okay. So let's go ahead and write down the formula first. So the formula is going to be y equals a times 1 plus r over n raised to the nt. That's just what we need and what we know. Hopefully, since we have only one equation, we should have exactly one unknown. All right. So the initial amount, starting amount is 200,000. The interest rate is 4%. 4% is 12 over 100 in mathematical form. Uh, if I convert this to decimal, uh, 
all I have to do is make this over zero, right? I mean, make this over one. So I just have to move the decimal point and the denominator forward twice. So it makes one in the denominator. So I have to do the same thing in the top. Move it forward twice the decimal point. So uh, 12 percent is 12 over 100 is equal point one two. Okay, so that's the rate. How many times is it uh, being compounded here? Per, uh, period is compounded quarterly. Okay, so what does quarterly mean? It means that it's four times, right? Um, uh, every quarter means every three months. All right, time P, how many years is you invest in the money? Four years. And then the final piece we need is Y. What is the final amount that she has after the four years? Well, that's exactly what we're looking for. So put a question mark. All right. So we're going to put in all these things into a formula and then calculate what y is. So we're going to have y equals 200,000, right, 200, times 1 plus r, which is 0 0.12, over n, which is 4, raised to the nt, uh, which is uh, 12, uh, n is 4, times t, which is also 4. Okay? So let's just simplify a little bit before we plug it into our calculator. 200,000 times 1 plus, um, we can work this out, this comes out to 0 0.03, but let me just leave it just like this, because we're going to have the calculator do the heavy lifting for us, okay? So 4 times 4 is 16. All right, I'm going to plug in this whole um, equation into my calculator. The reason why I don't want to do more steps by hand is I want to show you how to uh, enter this um, expression is properly in the calculator, making good use of the grouping um, system, okay? All right, so let's enter it. So we're going to have 200,000 times 1 plus 0 0.12 divided by 4, close the parentheses, raised to the 16th power, enter. Uh, the final amount is three hundred and twenty thousand nine hundred forty-one dollars and twenty-nine cents. So three twenty-nine point one. Write that down. Three twenty-nine four one, and we just round it up to uh twenty-nine twenty-nine cents. Okay. Twenty-nine cents. All right. So what on earth does this answer mean? Let's write down what our answer uh, means. Um, Jackie. Jackie's investment uh, will grow to $320,941.29. All right, how much interest did she earn? Well, for interest earned, she just asked herself, how much, but how much did uh, her, her dollars or account grow. Well, we did take to check the final figure, 320,941 and 29 cents. And subtract the original amount, 200,000 from it. And that would tell us uh, what that is. Okay, this is very elementary to calculate. So this is simply um, $120,941.29. So this is the amount of interest that you earned over the four year period. Okay. All right. Now let's move on to question question number two. So in question two, um Alberto Alberto uh has fifty thousand um to invest. and desires to, he desires to do what? He wants to double his money uh, by investing in a high income, a high income fund that has um, as an annual interest rate 
of 20%. Okay? If uh, this one pays out interest monthly, uh, how long will how long will it take Alberto to double his money? Okay. And this is assuming that he compounds he compounds um uh his interest. Okay, he compounds his interest, he doesn't take any, he doesn't take anything out. That's the assumption here. Okay. All right, so um let's just put that remark down. Assuming Alberto reinvests all interest. Okay? So we're basically compounding the interest. All right, so with that in mind, now let's take a look at the formula. We're going to use the same formula y equals a times 1 plus r over n raised to the nt. All right, let's see what we know and we'll find what we need. So the starting amount is 50,000. The final amount, he wants to double his money, right? It's two times 50,000, doubling is basically made to multiply by two. So 100,000 is his final amount. All right, now, uh, what is the rate? Pretty high interest rate, right? So 20% is 20%, is 20 over 100. If you change it into decimal form, by moving the decimal point forward twice, you end up, end up with 0.2, okay? And then N is the number of times the um, interest is being compounded, so it's, it's uh, interest is being paid out monthly. So his um, balance gets compounded monthly uh, with interest. So n is going to be 12 times, right? Because there are 12 months in a year. All right, uh, time. How long is it going to take for this to happen? Well, that's exactly what we're looking for. We don't know what the time is. All right. So let's plug in all this information into our equation. So that's going to give us. Um, 100,000 equals 50 times 1 plus 0.2 over uh, n12 raised to the 4p. Okay? All right. Number six. Uh, let's start this. I was supposed to write this as 50,000. Let's just pick that up. Let's say about that. Uh, this is uh, 50,000. I was wondering what happened. 50,000 times 1 plus point two over twelve raised to the twelve p. Sorry about that. Okay, now uh, let's fix this. So to solve this, what we're gonna do we're first of all going to just divide both sides by fifty thousand. So divide the left side by fifty thousand and the right side by fifty thousand. The goal is to isolate p. Okay, so we're gonna get rid of the fifty thousand. How are these now using uh properties of logarithms? Divide and then uh, we'll get p isolated. Okay, so um, this divides out to one. A hundred thousand over fifty thousand is just two. So we have two equals one plus point uh, point two over twelve raised to the twelve p. I don't want to simplify this. I want the calculator to do the work. I don't want my answer to be as accurate as possible. Just in case we have. Um, um, repeating decimals, okay, or irrational numbers. All right, so with that in mind, I need this exponent power down, so I'm going to take the natural logarithm of both sides. The natural logarithm of 2 equals the natural logarithm of 1 plus 0 0.2 over 12 raised to the 12p, okay? Now that I have a natural log, I can now power down this exponent. Bring it down. So I'm going to have uh, the natural logarithm of 2 equals 12p on the natural logarithm of 1 plus 0.2 over 12. Okay? So to get uh, p isolated, I'm going to divide both sides by, um, by 12 log 1 plus 0 0.12, 0 0.2 over uh, 12. So on the right side, I'll divide by 12. 
ln 1 plus 0.2 over 12. And on the right side, I divide by the same amount of 12 as the natural logarithm of 1 plus 0.2 over 12. Okay, on the right side, you notice what happens. 12 divides out into 12, and it is natural logarithm of 1 plus 0.2 over 12. Divide that with the bottom. So you're left with t, okay? Using the reflexive property of equality, I can put the t on the right. And then on the auspicious um, portion right here to the right side, the natural logarithm of 2 divided by 12 times the natural logarithm of 1 plus 0.2 over 12. Okay? So this is the exact now. So let's plug it in my calculator and see how long it's going to take uh, versus the double this morning, okay? So I want you to watch carefully how I group my entries so that we don't make, generate any errors of grouping when, when I'm computing this portion. So we're going to have the natural logarithm of 2 divided by, you have multiple terms in my denominator, I have to group them using parentheses, okay? So parentheses 12 times the natural logarithm of 1 plus 0.2 divided by 12. This parenthesis closes up the natural logarithm. This parenthesis closes out the denominator. So the denominator has been completely encapsulated and the parenthesis are grouped together. So I just press enter. And our answer is 3.49. Let's just run it up to 3.5. So t is basically 3.5. So what does this answer mean? Well, it means that it will take Alberto three and a half years or 3.5 years about that to double his money. Okay? So that's that. So thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video. Uh, please feel free to subscribe to my channel just by clicking up here. Um, you can share this video with your friends on Facebook or Twitter. More videos can be found on myspace.com. Thanks again and have a wonderful day.